Next we have Erica Sainz Trevino. Erica, ready, set, <coughs> research. Imagine if you will, after this competition, you go home, you have dinner with your family, you say goodnight to your children, and it's the end of another normal day. But in the morning, when you wake up, you realize something's wrong. You have this numbness and tingling in your feet and your hands. So you go to the doctor. The doctor looks you over and says, everything looks fine. Perhaps you're under a lot of stress. And you say, well, yes, I'm in grad school and I'm preparing for my defense. And he tells you, well, most likely that's what it is. Let me prescribe you some muscle relaxers, and if the symptoms persist, we'll see you in about a month. So you go home, you take the medication, you start feeling better. But in three weeks, one morning when you wake up and you get out of bed, you fall to the floor. And the reason why you fell is because you no longer have function of your leg. You can't feel your feet, your vision's going blurred, so you panic. You get a ride to the emergency room. The ER doctor looks you over and tells you, perhaps it seems as if you have symptoms of a disease called multiple sclerosis. Now this is a chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease in which your body starts attacking itself, specifically your brain. And the damage can lead to paralysis, blindness, and even at sometimes premature death. There, there is no cure, and the treatments are very limited. So you panic and you say, Doc, I'm only in my 20s. I can't go blind. I have children. I mean, I, I can't be paralyzed. Is there a blood test that you can do to confirm this? And he's going to tell you no. And you see, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what my research entails. We aim to develop a diagnostic test in which physicians can accurately and definitively diagnose you with multiple sclerosis. And we do this by a technique that we actually developed in our lab called M squared proteomics. Now, this technique allows us to run multiple blood samples at one time point. So what we do is we induce multiple sclerosis-like <coughs> disease in mice, and we take blood samples at different time points of the disease. We're able to identify key specific proteins as biomarkers for disease progression. And we can use these, as, uh, these biomarkers to develop diagnostic tests. But not only that, novel therapeutic approaches. So that way, we can treat you the first time you come to the doctor, rather than wait till you're paralyzed. So we can be able to treat you, and, and not only you, but the 2.3 million people worldwide suffering from multiple sclerosis. Thank you.